Aleluia. Aleluia. Let the living in the house shout Aleluia. Amen. Our first Bible reading for today is taken from Psalm 96. And we are all going to be reading together. So if you have your phone, if you have your iPad, can you please bring it out? Psalm 96. And we are reading from New King James Version. So let's go. Hold, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the heart. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the people are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Give to the Lord glory and strength. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before him all the hearts. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world also is firmly established. It shall not be moved. It shall judge the peoples righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and let the heart be glad. Let the sea roar and all its fullness. Let the field be joyful and all that is in it. Then all the trees of the wood will rejoice before the Lord. For he is coming. For he is coming to judge the heart. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Let the people say amen. Amen. And we are going to take our first hymn. Praise my soul, the King of heaven. We have four stanzas. Praise my soul, the, the King of
want you to register your heart before the Lord this evening. I just want to tell the Lord, Lord, I am here to worship you. I am here to exalt your holy name. I'm joining the angels in heaven and the 24 headers in heaven to bow down before you this evening. As Lord Jesus, and as I bring my offering before you, I bring myself as a sacrifice unto you. Let my worship be acceptable. My very self, Lord, let it be acceptable. Do not reject me. Do not reject my offering today. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we exalt you. We give you praise because our offering as a sacrifice, we come before thee. As a sweet man is sacrificed this evening in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good evening, church. I just want us to remain ushered in the presence of the Holy Spirit. I just want us to just take this time to give God thanks and just give Him praise and give Him worship for all the things that He has done for us. Lord, we thank you, God. God, we thank you that you gave your son, Jesus. God, we thank you that you allowed him to die on the cross for our sins, God. You didn't wait until we fixed ourselves up, but you took us within our mess. You took us within our despair. And Father God, we are just so grateful for that. We're just so honored, we're just so blessed that you have done that for us. The scripture talks about how the average man wouldn't die for, a, for an ungodly person. And when you really think about it, you wouldn't really lay down your life for somebody who lies or lay your life for somebody who steals. But the fact that God gave his son for us is more than enough. And we're just so grateful, God. God, we thank you. For oh, it reaches to the highest mountain. And it flows to the lowest valley. Oh, it was the blood that gives me strength from day to day.
Cause you never leave me And you said that you won't forsake me And you walk beside me And that is all that matters You never leave me You said that you won't forsake me And you walk beside me And that is all that matters Say you never leave me You never leave me You said that you won't forsake me And you walk beside me And that is all that matters Say you never leave me And you walk beside me You said that you won't forsake me You walk beside me That is all that matters you are the covenant keeping God The covenant keeping God You are The covenant keeping God You will keep your promises Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh The covenant keeping God You are the keeping God The covenant keeping God Say you are the covenant You're the covenant You're the covenant You're the covenant You're the covenant You are the covenant Yahweh, 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 Yahweh Yahweh, the covenant keeping Israelites out of Egypt and the scripture talked about how God had a pillar of a cloud and a pillar of fire with them to keep them company and it was physical evidence that God was always present and the fact that God is such a covenant keeping God if he was with Moses if he was with Jonah if he was with Jacob if he was with Joseph what makes you think that he would not be there with you in the times when you have lost your relatives, in the times when you have lost your job, God has still always made a way for you. He has done exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask or think according to the power that worked within you.
the most beautiful among thousands, a thousand. You're my beloved, is you are the most beautiful God among thousands, among thousands. Yeshua, Yeshua, excited to be in the house this afternoon. Let us give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen, amen, amen. All right, we can have our seats for a few seconds. We're going to be standing a lot today because we're here to praise the name of Jesus. All right, so I would like to welcome all of us to the 20 hours of praise, day four. Hallelujah. Since Wednesday, 
Uh, we also like to use this opportunity to welcome all of our online viewers. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. We are trusting God that wherever you are, you stay connected to the blessings in Jesus' name. We also like to welcome all our friends from the island. Praise the name of the Lord. We have a few parishes all the way from the island this afternoon. Amen. Amen. All right, so just a quick housekeeping before we continue today. By the way, my name is Toyosi, and I'm going to be the MC for tonight. Hallelujah. All right, so for washrooms, um, for our guests, we do have washrooms available outside of the church. Um, so if you need any assistance locating it, you can talk to any of our lovely ushers, and they'll be more than happy to help you out. We also have drinks for those who might need some fluid today downstairs. Um, if you need help locating where they, are, where they are as well, you can also talk to any of the ushers. And please, we do not allow food and drinks in the main church. Hallelujah. If you have little kids, please let them eat with discretion. Amen. And please clean after them as well. Um, yes, so now we are going to be bringing up Rehoboth Chapel. So we're going to have the choir from Rehoboth Chapel all the way from Nanaimo. Hallelujah. Please, can we continue appreciating them as they step on the stage? Hallelujah. Jesus is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We cannot praise our God sitting down. Can we rise up on our feet and give the Lord a thunderous shout? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 20 years of God's faithfulness. 20 years of God's miracle. We bring you greetings from our CCG Rehoboth Nanaimo. Hallelujah. Shall we begin to worship the name of the Lord? Handarabo shekere de ko handarabo Jesus is worthy to be praised. Say something sweet to him this morning. Let's welcome him in our presence this morning. He deserves our praise. We welcome you Holy Spirit. You are worthy Jesus. Handarabo shekere de ko handarabo Jesus we worship you. We welcome you this evening. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to the Lamb.
testify that I worship more than my mind can comprehend. But I seen the wonders of your grace.
I'm not sure you are ready here. Are you ready to give God praise this evening? These people, they are ready. 
These people, they are not ready. Are you ready to give God praise this evening? That's more like it. Let's go. Lord, you were good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Yeah. Lord, you were good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Father, you were good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. 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 You were good and your mercy is forever.
joy. I've got joy, 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 joy. joy. I'm not sure. Joy, 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 joy overflows in my life. You don't mean the joy you have. The joy that is overflowing. The joy that God is keeping is stopping hey. it up. Let's go. I've got joy, 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 joy.
out of my belly shall flow rivers rivers of living waters here I am
just appreciate God for that wonderful period of worship? Can we just bless His holy name and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. May our worship be acceptable in your sight in the name of Jesus. Lord, can we appreciate Rehobo Chapel again all the way? All right. We can have our seats very briefly. Um, so I have a quiz for Grace Chapel members. Maybe not just Grace Chapel members, because it's a very popular... It's a quiz that we all expected to know. Do we know what's happening? I don't know what's... Can everybody hear me? Okay. Do we know what's happening in Grace Chapel tomorrow? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. All right. How many of us are excited for Taste of Nations? Praise the name of the Lord. All right. For those of us who are not aware of what Taste of Nations is, it's, um, it's an annual event that we've been having for a couple of years now. Um, and it's directed by our, like I always call him, world-renowned music director, Anu Adediro. Praise the Lord. Amen. And by the grace of God, you know, Taste of Nations has been growing bigger and bigger every single year. And we are trusting God that one day we shall all meet at BC Place in the name of Jesus. For those of us who do not know what BC Place is, that's where the Vancouver Whitecaps um, play their soccer games. All right, so now we are going to be bringing Pastor Farinu all the way from Victory Chapel in Victoria. Please, can we appreciate him as he comes up? Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. We bless you, Almighty God. Everlasting Ever. is your name. From age to age, you are still the same. Oh, Lord. We bless you. From age to age, from age to age, you are still the same. Oh Lord, we bless your name. From day to day, from day to day. Lift your hands to God and just worship Him. From day to day, is the same. From age to age, is the same. Is the unchanging changer. Is the unchanging God, the everlasting Father, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Oh, we say thank you, Lord. From age to age, from day to day, from week to week. From month to month, you are the same. Oh, we bless you, Almighty God. We worship you. Lord, as ever thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, we pray. My job today is to lead us to give thanks to God. And the Bible says, all that men will give to God, we give thanks. All that men will give thanks. So, He's telling us that we owe God something. When God is pointing his finger at something, oh, that men. Oh, that men. Of course, men means the, no, no gender problem, either the male or the female. We're all a child of God. God said to us, give him thanks, give him praise. And I want to tell you the reason why we should give thanks to God, because some of us have been here for almost 19 years. But why you have been here for 20 plus years, amen. Then just getting here and the church just started. They labor for some few months before the church starts. And thank God for Pastor Coca. <laughs> Praise the Lord. 
I can't remember that uh, we were together in his house down in Calgary before he moved to the U.S. He was the one that said, okay, you guys have to go to B.C. And I remember that journey very well with the children, both of them inside the bus, <laughs> and they end up in B.C. But thank God that God did not disappoint them. Thank God that God did not leave them alone. That has become a story. Hallelujah. It's become a story. And of course, a couple of years after, we came and we moved to Victoria. By the grace of God, he has not left us. He has not disappointed us. Your beginning may be little. Your latter end shall greatly increase. That is the word of God. God is faithful to his word. God is faithful to perform what he's promised us. And we're just starting. Pastor Victor told me that, we well, thank God for this sanctuary, that the anointing should continue. And I believe very soon we'll come to Pastor Victor <laughs> in the mighty name of Jesus and we'll celebrate together in the mighty name of Jesus. But today also is Pastor Bayo's birthday. That is very, 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 very special. Some of us who can interact with Pastor Bayo's story about God's deliverance in the life of a man, I don't think we should remain seated. I think we should stand up and just give God thanks for such a thing that God has done for us. For God sparing his life, for God overruling the devil. The, the devil thought by today, he will not be here. The devil thought by today will be mourning him. But God is a miracle working God. God turned things around in our favor. In our favor. What a God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a privilege to see miracle at work. We can see the miracle of God. We can see the finger of God. We can see God overruling the counsel of physicians. The counsel of the devil. The, 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 the counsel of medical care. We can see God fighting our battles for us. Oh Lord, we say thank you. And of course, that reminds me of Psalm chapter 9. Let's read together Psalm chapter 9. We just read that as to just fellowship and just present that to God as our prayer today. Psalms 9. Let's read from verse 1 to the very end. Thank you. And after that, I will give us the opportunity to just thank God on, our, on, on the behalf of our pastor. Thank God on behalf of what God has done for this church and for Redeemed Church at large. Let's be thankful because I bet it if we are thankful, God will do more. God will do more. God will do more. Hallelujah. And whatever you are trusting God for, I can trust God with you that God will answer you. Because God is a prayer answering God. The Bible says that, that when we call upon God, God will answer us. He will answer us today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we read on one to go? I will praise you, O oh Lord. With my whole heart, I will tell of all your marvelous works. Number two, I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, almost high. Verse three, when my enemies turn back. Come and say, they shall do what? They shall do what? And they, should do, they will do what? They shall fall and perish at your presence. Verse number four, for you have maintained my right and my cause. You sat on the throne judging in righteousness. Verse five, you have rebuked the nations. You have destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. Oh enemy, destruction are finished forever. And you have destroyed cities even their memories has perished. But the Lord, He has prepared His throne for judgment. Hallelujah. He shall judge the world in righteousness. And He shall administer judgment for the people in uprightness. Hallelujah. 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 
and we appreciate God this evening. Come on, lift your hands and begin to thank Him. Begin to appreciate Him. From age to age, you are still the same. Oh Lord, we bless your name. From time to time, from time to time, you are still the same. Just thank the Lord tonight. From age to age is the same. From year to year is the same. The unchanging changer, the one that's ordained it, that 20 years it will be here. The one that has ordained it, that 20 years his servant will be alive and his family will be alive and all of us will be rejoicing. God has done something for us. God is a covenant keeping God. God is a merciful God. God is a compassionate God. God is a loving God. God is a wonder-working God. When he says, I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. That is a covenant. That is a promise. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. That is a promise. That is a covenant. He will see to your going. He will see to your coming forever and ever that is a God we serve that is a God we know covenant keeping God merciful God God that is full of compassion Lord, when we look back, we know you are the one. No one has done it. You have done it, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. Glory. Glory to you. The land. we give you glory, 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 glory to the land. For you are glory. We are thanking the Lord for Pastor Bayo. We're thanking the Lord for Pastor Ola. Let's not forget to thank God for Anu. Let's not thank God for his siblings. All that God has used those three men today, they've done in this ministry is so much. Thank God that we're not running after them in the prison yard. Thank God we're not running after them. Maybe they have defied even even the, the purpose of God upon their parents' life. No, 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 no. Thank God that they are humble children. Thank God that they are godly children. Thank God for the grace of God upon their lives. 
thank God because they are set apart for the work of the Lord. We just thank God on our behalf today. I tell you, a lot of men of God, they are looking for their children. They are somewhere else. But that is not our own case. Our case that our children are serving God. Let's thank the Lord for that. Oh, Father, we say thank you. We bless your name, oh God. For Pastor Bayer, for, for Pastor Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the children, oh God, that you have given them. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for what they are doing, oh God, in the work of the ministry. Thank you for what they are doing, oh God, in their secular life. Thank you, Lord, for enriching us, oh God, even through their lives, oh God. Oh, Father, we are grateful. Our several times given in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we thank God together for the whole redeemed church in Nigeria, in, in, in Canada? Shall we just thank God for the whole redeemed church all over the world? Father, we say thank you for your church is marching on and the gate of hell shall not prevail. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are grateful. That you are several thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Heavenly Father, tonight we have come to appreciate you, to celebrate you, to give you thanks for all you have done. Somebody said, if we can think, we can thank. And Lord, we can think today, we can look back at 20 years of your faithfulness. And as a result, we can thank you today and we'll thank you forever. That you have several times given. For your servant and his family, I several times given. For the church of God, I several times given. For where we are today, I several times given. For where you are taking us to, I several times given. Daddy, we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. All right. Praise the name of the Lord. Can we please appreciate Pastor Farino once again, all the way from Victoria. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, so now we are going to be ushering in the Victory Chapel Choir. And they are going to be taking us for the next half an hour. Please, can we appreciate them as they come up? Hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet this afternoon. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands and begin to say thank you, Lord, for the grace to worship you today. It's not by my power, it's not by my mouth, it's by the grace of God. When Jesus was going into Jerusalem during the triumphant entry, the Pharisees asked and told the disciples that tell them to shut up, they are shouting too much. You know what Jesus said? He said, if they stop shouting, I will raise stones. He said, I will raise stones and stones will shout my praise. If you are here to praise God today, begin to give him a shout right now. This is Zion. This is Zion. And upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. And the house of Jacob will possess his possession. We are here in the company of innumerable angels. We are here in the presence of Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. We are here. We thank you, Jesus. We are here in the presence of the blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. We are here in the presence of Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus, right now. Thank you for the privilege to worship you. We bless your holy name. I am Thomas, the Holy of Holy. I am Thomas, the blood of Lift up your voice and sing. Worship is a personal experience. I am to worship you.
And this is only moments yeah. When God works in all us And every case is on the lion and the lamb And this is only moments When God works in us And every gaze is on the light
what a day of rejoicing that'll be. so much for that wonderful time of worship. So right now we are going to be bringing up Pastor Kayode all the way from Kamloops. Please can we appreciate him as he comes up? Why don't you jam those hands together for the Lord, the God Almighty. Ah, wait, 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 wait. You're not clapping for me. You're clapping for the one that gave you hands. You know before you clap, you know, the Bible says, praise God with understanding. You know, some people were born with no hands. Some actually were born with hands. Because of one sickness or the other, their hands were amputated. But you're not only alive, you have hands. Why don't you jam your hands together for the Lord? The Bible says, clap your hands, all you people. Shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. Jab your hands. It is the best you can do. Grace Chapel, you are clapping for the Almighty God. The Almighty the one that gave you hands, he gave you legs. He put the breath in your mouth. Eternal, the unchangeable changer, our advocate, our defender. Come on, clap your hand for Jesus. Clap your hand for Jesus. The Bible says God has gone out with a shout and the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Come those hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Please have your seat. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. Well, I'm welcoming you people. Hallelujah. I bring you great things from the city of Kanloops and from zone BC1. I'm actually standing representing our zone. My zona pastor called me and he said I'm standing for the zone. Hallelujah. So before we go ahead, we quickly read from the book of Psalm 98. Psalm number 9 and 8. Psalm 98. And I like the NLT translation. I was going to adopt a method if I'm allowed. I will read verse 1, then you read verse 2. I will read 3, you read 4. I read 5, you read 6, 7. You get the maths. Amen. I like the NLT translation better. So when I read verse 1, I think we should stand. Hallelujah. Shall we please stand? Amen. Hallelujah. They sing a new song to the Lord, for he has done wonderful deeds. His right hand has won a mighty victory. His holy hands has shown his saving power. He has remembered his promise to love and be faithful to Israel and Grace Chapel. The ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Sing your praises to the Lord with a harp, with a harp and melodious song. Let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. Let the earth 
and all living things join in. Amen. Before we read the last verse together, immediately we finish reading, you make the loudest noise you've ever made in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you getting ready? Are you getting ready? You know, the Bible says better is the end of it than the beginning. So this is the one that makes sense. Hallelujah. So we're going to go together. One, two, go. Before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with justice. And the nations with name. Amen. Amen. Because of our time, I shout is nowhere, but we have to continue. The time is staring at me. Amen. So the next thing is the hymn. I know the choir will help us. And we take the hymn. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Amen. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels fall.
name of the Lord. All right. Thank you very much, Pastor, leading that hymn. So next, we are going to be bringing up the Bethel Chapel Choir. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are we tired of standing to praise our God? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Maybe we'll test the parts of our bodies to be sure they are still okay. Do you have legs in this place? Are you sure you have legs? I have test the right one first. Is it shaky? Is it shaky? I have test the left one. Is it moving? Is it moving? Oh yeah, jump, jump, jump. To be sure nothing is wrong with it. Hallelujah! Our God is good and His mercies endures forever. Hallelujah! I'm excited to be called His child. I am so excited to be known by God. Amen. He keeps doing wonders, He keeps doing miracles, things that we have given up on. You know, people go to places and they get disappointed, but you just have this strong chest that, ah, if I go there, they cannot turn me down. Why? Because of who you have, because of who you call on, and he answers. That's why we say, Jesus, yeah. you have done it again. Jesus, your special way <laughs> what was it cost it became possible Jesus did. now you're going to sing it with excitement and conviction Jesus did. hey you have done it again Jesus did. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are here because of you, Lord Jesus. We are here because of you. We boast in your name. We boast in your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for making us living testimonies. Thank you for causing our lives to shine. Thank you for showing yourself through us. People know we are serving the living God because of you. Ha. What would I live for if I don't have you in my life? Tell me what would I gain if you take the Holy Ghost?
chapel and I hope you guys after 20 years you'll be thankful to God and join us
we just magnify the name of the Lord? Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Please, can we appreciate the Bethel Chapel Choir all the way from Kamloops, BC? Praise the name of the Lord. I hope we are being blessed. Are we being blessed? Praise the name of the Lord. And I hope your watch is asking if you're working out or not as well. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. All right. So next we are going to be bringing up our provincial pastor all the way from Prince George. That's Victory Faith Chapel. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us welcome Dr. Victor Follow and Show. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to say a big thank you to the Almighty God who made this day uh, possible in many respects. Not just the 20th anniversary of Grace Chapel, but also uh, the birthday of our beloved uh, Pastor Bayo Adedira. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, there is a song here that uh, they want uh, us to sing in lieu of a hymn, the God that created the heavens and the earth. We're going to take that and I'm going to share briefly. Uh, I have uh, a number of minutes here and to lead us in thanksgiving. A short exhortation will precede that, but we will take this song. Do you have it? Okay. Um, the Yoruba version, if you are Yoruba, you want to sing it in Yoruba. Alone to da I want okay. Bani. How many people still understand Yoruba here? <laughs> okay. And then if you want to sing it in English, um, do we have it? The God that created. Okay, I sent another version there. But let's rise together. The choir will lead us. Okay. Alone. Toda. Okay. from here to Prince George before, you will have seen some mountains that are truly ancient. When I pass through that road and I see those, I say, wow, this God so awesome, so mighty. It is that God that we are returning all praise to today. Lord, so
created the ancient mountains. The one who established the earth upon the seas. The one who spread the heavens like a curtain. The one who sits upon the circles of the earth. The one, O oh God, who sits up there in the heavens and made the earth his footstool. It is to you we give all praise, all worship, all honor, all adoration this day, this hour. Receive our praises, O oh God. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Amen. God bless you. you. May be seated. I'm going to share with you briefly in the next seven minutes or thereabouts, and it's going to lead us into Thanksgiving. Uh, incidentally, in Faith Chapel this month, our theme for the month is obedience, a necessary part of the process. Obedience, a necessary part of the process. And when I look at the theme for this anniversary, a new dawn, I seem to connect the two, and I'll tell you why. Obedience. You see, when God commands, He expects men to obey. What we have witnessed these 20 years is the obedience of a man. And I know that when Pastor Bayo and Pastor La, when they were called to step out into this place, they didn't see any of this. There were fears. There were uncertainties. But there was also hope and faith. And they stepped out in obedience. You see, something came to me, brethren, and I want to share briefly. The scripture says in Isaiah 1, 19, if you are willing and you are obedient, what happens? You will eat the good of the land. It occurs to me that obedience is of paramount importance in whatever God wants to do on the face of the earth. When he put man in the Garden of Eden, he gave them instructions. Unfortunately, they disobeyed those instructions. They didn't follow through. And I realized that the society is actually created based on instructions. Everything on earth has instructions attached to them. And it is in obeying those instructions that we find fulfillment. For instance, if you look at even this microphone, the makers gave us instructions on how to use them. Is that not so? If we obey those instructions, we get good quality. If we disobey them, what happens? We mess things up. The vehicle you are riding, you, are, you have instructions. They told you the kind of gas to put in it. Maintenance, everything. If you follow through, what happens? You enjoy it. If you don't, what happens? You suffer the consequences. If you look into marriage, there are instructions for husbands. There are instructions for wives. If you look at children, there are instructions for them. Every aspect of life. Do you know that as you enter your vehicle, as you drive from here, you have to follow instructions. When to stop, when to move, all those things are there. If we remove and we refuse to obey those instructions, what happens to society? It becomes chaotic. Obedience is a necessary part of the process. And today we want to just say thank you to God because a man obeyed the voice of God. And not just that man, because several people that are here obeyed also the voice of God to play your part. And that's why this church is where it is today. And for that heart of obedience, we just want to say thank you to the Almighty God for the grace to obey. Every step of the way, that is what has brought us here. You know why it is also so important? Every disobedience is judged harshly by God. When Adam and Eve broke the law, what happened? God judged them. He placed curses upon them. Hardships, difficulties in childbirth, in the work of their hands, everything. 
everything became hard. Everything became difficult. It is the same thing for every one of us here. And so today, we want to celebrate the faithfulness of God in helping us. It was not him. Uh, if you ask him what was in his heart that time, when, when Pastor Coca said, uh, the Lord be with you, I'm on my way. You look around and all the things they have passed through, you know that it was just grace, the grace of the Almighty God. We're going to rise to our feet and I want us to sing this song before we begin to thank God for that, for obedience and every other thing the Lord will give us grace to thank Him for. I come before the Lord, my King. I, I come, come before, before my Lord and King. to just appreciate the Lord in spite of the fears, in spite of the challenges, in spite of the uncertainty, the Lord helped his servants to obey his voice. Can you just lift your voices, brethren? Can you just say, Lord, we are grateful. Father, we just stand before you. We stand before you in thanksgiving. We thank before you because we know that it was because you helped them. You helped them to obey your voice that is the reason why we are standing here 20 years after lifting our voices singing praises and rejoicing all together father we just want to say thank you we just want to appreciate you lord god almighty for standing by them for backing them off 
up, O oh God Almighty, for supporting them, for encouraging them in the difficult and the trying moments. Thank you, our Father, because you did not allow them to turn back. Glory and honor we give to you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You see, you may not understand something. Redeem. This church has given us a platform on which to serve the Lord. Every one of us are serving now. It became possible because of that obedience. But you know, when the children of Israel left Egypt, a time came they met with hardship. What was it that they said? They said, let us go back. You know, he said also, people advised, why don't you go to Toronto? Why don't you just pack up here and go? But thank God he did not turn back. Can we lift up our voices and say, Lord, thank you because he did not turn back. In, the, in this past 20 years, in the face of challenges and difficulties, thank you because he did not turn back. He did not throw in the towel. He did not give up the call. He did not give up the assignment. Can we appreciate him? Can we give him praise? Father, we thank you for your son. Lord, we know there were challenges. There were difficulties. There were times when, Lord, everything became difficult. It looked almost impossible. There were times when even in the center of your will, there were lacks, there were, Lord God Almighty, disappointments, there were challenges, there were troubles. But Lord, we thank you that, Lord, at no time, O oh God, were they, Lord, tempted to return? Or did they give up the call? Glory and honor we give to you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. You may not understand, but this is important. I want us to thank God for the Aaron's and the oars from the beginning of this walk. When his hands became heavy and it was difficult to continue to lift up that hand and the Aaron's came in, the horse came in. You know, pastor has said so many things since they moved to this place. The people making the seats, people making commitments, people being here almost all day, working to just see that this place is set. Those are the errands, those are the us. Those are the men who obeyed the voice of God and not the voice of a man. Can we say thank you? Thank you for every Aaron, every or. Some of them are no longer here. They played their part and they have moved on to other places. Can we lift up our voices and just say, Lord, we thank you. Eternal God, we just appreciate you, Lord, for every Aaron, for every all. All the men, all the women, the brothers, the sisters, everyone who supported this work in one way or the other. All those who prayed, all those who fasted, all those, Lord, who made themselves available, not in one form or the other. Lord, to see that the work is done. We thank you for them. We appreciate you, Lord. We thank you for the heart of obedience you gave to each and every one of those people who have gone and those who are still here. Receive all the praise and the glory, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We are also going to thank the Lord. You know, when I called pastor this morning, I said, so this was what the devil wanted to exempt you from. Two years ago, he struck, and it was as if he was going to win, if it had not been for the Lord. If it had not been for the, how would it have been that we are gathered here and we say, well, we thank God for the person who pioneered this work, who is no longer with us. God defeated that counsel of the enemy. God frustrated that token of the liars. He's the 20th year and he's here. He's here leading the praise, leading the worship. Can we lift up our voices and say thank you. Thank you for defeating the counsel of the enemy. Thank you for frustrating the tokens of the liars. Thank you for not allowing the counsel of the wicked one to prosper. Thank you for the great things that you did. Father, we thank you. In this 28th anniversary, Pastor Bayo is here. The family, they are here. He is leading the church by your grace. The enemy came in like a flood, but your spirit raised a standard against the flood of the ungodly. Daddy, we thank you. Daddy, we celebrate you. We rejoice in you. We lift you high. Be thou exalted, O God. 
Be thou exalted, O God. Be thou exalted, O God. Thank you, faithful and righteous God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want us to also thank the Lord. You see, I don't know how you felt this yesterday when the choirs came here and they were singing. How you felt when the choirs came today and they were singing. This was a seed that was planted in BC that has spread all over the province. It is the doing of the Almighty God. I look at the churches that were small that have grown big. I look at the choirs and I look at the leading and I say, God, what an awesome God you are. Can we just say thank you to the Almighty God for every parish that came out of this church. Every parish, the one that ministered yesterday, the one that ministered today, the one that did not even get to minister in one way or the other. This seed has become mighty. The scripture says, except a corn of wheel fall into the ground and it dies, it abides alone. But when it falls into the ground and it dies, it brings forth much more. Can we say thank you? Thank you for the much more that this thing it has produced. Lord, we thank you. We stand before you today. Thank you for every parish that came out of Grace Chapel. Thank you for the pastors. Thank you for the congregations. Thank you for the men, for the women, the young and the old. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your intentionality. Lord, in spreading the word through this church into other parts of the we honor you, O Lord, for every pastor, for every minister, for every worker, for all, O God, Lord, that you have done across the province. All the glory and the honor be to you, Lord. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. We are still thanking God, brethren. I have just about seven minutes, but I just intend to lead us to specifically thank God. Can you imagine how many souls have been won across this province because of this work that started in this place? Can you imagine how many marriages have taken place, people who met in this church and in the churches that were established? Can you imagine how many people were sick but were healed? Can you imagine how many people were in hopeless situations and they came in and God attended to their situations? Can we just lift up our voices and just say, Lord, we thank you. Our God, we appreciate you for every testimony, for every joy that has gone forth as a result of this seed, every soul that was saved, every healing that took place, every broken marriage that was restored, every person that came into this church assembly in this BC and they became husbands and wives. All that were deepened, they came in here, they were not schooled, they were not deep in the things of God and they came in here and you taught them, you sat them down and you fed them with your word. We cannot thank you enough. In every way, in every form, Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you. Glory and honor we give to you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want us to also say thank you to God for something. You see, thank God for the people that are here. But do you know that Pastor Bayo is not just pastor over this congregation? There are several people that are not members of this church, but who are being ministered to on a daily basis. And the same thing in all the parishes. Some of us are in, in cities where some people are not in the church, but they continue to come to us and we continue to minister to them. Can we thank God for the impact that Grace Chapel, the planting of this church has had across the churches in the whole of BC, across the leadership in the BC, across this entire province. Can we lift our voices? Can you just raise your voices and say, thank you, Father. Thank you because this influence is not limited. It's not limited, oh God, even to those who fellowship here. Lord Jesus, we thank you for every church that have been influenced, that have been affected, that have been impacted, every city, Lord, that joy has come into, Lord, we just give all the glory to you. Blessed be your holy name, O God. In Jesus' 
mighty name we have prayed. Choir, can you help me with this song? Revelation 19, 1, you know. Hallelujah, salvation and glory, honor and Please, can you rise to your feet as we sing together? Just say thank you. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power to the Lord our God. For the Lord our God is omnipotent. For the Lord our God is omniscient. For the Lord our God, He is wonderful. We stand together today. We celebrate your goodness. We celebrate your faithfulness. We celebrate your love. We celebrate your mercies. We celebrate your kindness. We celebrate your doings. And they are marvelous on our side. We return all the glory to you, Lord. We return all the glory to you. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Amen. Amen. Just one more thing. I want you to thank God for yourself. Can you just lift up God? In your own life and just say Lord for bringing me here and for all you have done in me and through me whatever your labors can you thank God for yourself thank God for your obedience thank God for your faithfulness thank God for all the helps that you have received to have been able to play your part in this work in this assembly in this assignment can you just say thank you to the Lord for yourself Glory and honor we give to you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so, Lord our God, we say thank you. All we just want to say is thank you. Thank you for the obedience of a man. And Lord, we are grateful to you for all that you have done in 20 years because of that obedience. But Lord, we know that greater instructions are still coming. The work is not done yet. The enlargement has just begun. Lord, we are just asking again, by the same token, by the same message, that the heart of obedience will continue to be the portion of your son and your daughter. That in every other thing that you may be asking them even at this time to do or to lead us to do, they will not hold back. 
they will trust you that brought them these 20 years to do the things you are appointing them to. Glory and honor we give to you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Please, can we appreciate our provincial pastor, Pastor Victor Folorosho, from Faith Chapel in Prince George. Thank you very much, sir. All right, so it is offering time. Offering time. All right, so I'll quickly read Malachi 3.10. Um, as our choir gets ready to come on stage. So it says, Malachi 3.10, Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. And try me now in this, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessings that there will not be room to receive it. Praise the name of the Lord. All right, so we have different ways by which we can give uh, tithe and offering. Uh, we do have the POS machines at the back of the church. If you need envelopes, you can also ask from one of our ushers, and I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you out. For those of us who maybe joined later, um, I announced earlier on that we do have washrooms, not on this level, but we have washrooms outside. Uh, please speak to any of the ushers if you need to use it. We also have water um, downstairs. Uh, we are not allowed to have food and drinks in the main auditorium, but if you do need water, you can go downstairs to get some. Praise the name of the Lord. Please, can we put our hands together as we welcome the voices of grace? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, so it's offering slash thanksgiving. But before we go into that session, I was just sitting and I was just thinking and asking God, like, Lord, how are we going to like start this session? And then I remembered what I have never shared. I remembered my first encounter with Pastor Bio. And the reason I'm going to share this is because I want us to give and thank God in a certain way. Like, I want you to understand something so that with that understanding, you can worship and thank God. 2022, during convention back in Nigeria, where I was seated on the altar, I was already dozing off because Daddy Gio was going to come very soon and I needed to sleep so that I could listen to Daddy Gio. Then it was testimony time. And Pastor Bayo came up to give his testimony. But I was dozing. And I felt a tap. Wake up and listen to that testimony. And then when he introduced himself as a pastor from Canada, I was like, oh, okay. Because my visa application was on. So I felt like, okay, Canada, Canada, okay. So I, I said, let me doze off again. But then I received another tap. Listen. Then I heard that it was the pastor in Vancouver. And I was like, okay, I got more interested. And I listened to his testimony. While he was sharing his testimony and showing us pictures, I heard the Spirit of the Lord tell me that I was going to be serving under Pastor Bayo. And that was when I knew that my visa application would not be rejected. It was certain that I was coming. Yes, I already knew. Because God already gave me where I was going to serve when I get to Canada. I'm saying this because we may see Pastor Bayo every time and trivialize what the Lord has done for him. Maybe if you saw that testimony, if you saw the pictures and all, you will understand better. And this makes me say that the testimony of Pastor Bayo is a testimony of grace. So we are not just in Grace Chapel. His life is a testimony of what the Lord has done. And it's a huge testimony of grace. That's why I'm going to, I want us to stand and just give God thanks and just give Him praise.
elders, we join them to sing hallelujah to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lord most high. Heralding, just sing to him. Without the instrument, without anything, just sing your own song to him. Exalt him. Bless his holy name. Father, we exalt you. Father, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Your love is kind. Your love is patient. You feel our heart with so much peace and
is above the earth. Oh, you are exalted. Unlimited God. Unlimited as far God. As the heavens
thank you for everything. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you because every time we call you, you're always there. Every time we call your name, you're there. We don't have to write an one special invitation letter. You just come where two or three are gathered in your name. You are there and we exalt you. We honor you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just have your seat for a moment. God is a faithful God. He's a 
faithful God. Please let um, let our focus remain on God, not on Pastor Bayo. Please, that's very important. Very, very important for me. One of the best, the best birthday gift you can give to me now is to worship God. So let's keep worshiping Him. I know that's a question that has not gone away. Every year I get that question. Did you deliberately plant the church around your birthday? And my answer has always been no. Honestly, none of us remembered my birthday when we were going to start the church. It was, it was a step of faith that we never thought would happen with a lot of fears. I mean, a lot of fears. I have stories around that. For example, a day before, it was on a Saturday, the 10th of, you know, April. I was going to pick the sign, the signboard that we were going to put on the main road on um, King George. I mean, Kingsway, rather, by Patterson area. And I went to the bank. I parked on this side. I had one very good car there, very good car. We were riding each other. I was riding me, I was riding it. You know what I mean. So I crossed into the TD Bank in Metro Town to get the to pay the guy. And um, I was on the queue. Just a few minutes after I looked back, the car was gone. The only thing I could say as a JJC, JJC means Johnny just come. You know, you. I didn't know when I screamed, my car is stolen. So the lady at the counter said, where did you park? I, I showed her, she did like this. She said, your car has been stolen. So you don't park there at this time. So I got the money. Now I didn't know what to do. So they told me where the car had been towed. And uh, I had to go to the car. I, I actually walked for about 45 minutes to get there. I picked the car, paid. Now, that was all I had in the bank. So to not pay the carpenter to get the sign became a problem. So I went by faith. So I begged the guy. I said I was going to pay him when we collect the offering of the first service tomorrow. He said no. Absolutely no. But thank God for his wife. Thank God for good wives. The wife came in at that time, but had a discussion, and she said, what do you mean? He's a pastor. The, she just he picked the thing. He said, pastor, carry it, go. And that was how we had the sign, you know, on that day. And um, I can tell you a lot of stories. It's been the mercy of God at work of where we are today. And the journey ahead is yet great. She praise the name of the Lord. Um, please, the, the, as part of our new dawn, we now have what we call service producers. We have two of them. They are so tough, you may not know the way they are working. They give the choir seven minutes extra. So I had to go and beg. I said, because, you know, if, what do you do to a person marking bad day? You spoil them. So I begged them, please spoil me with time. <laughs> because I have three songs to sing. That I want you to sing to praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. Before I bring up Pastor Koka, bless us. And you are going to sing this song very well. Though. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. But before we go into this song, I have uh, a, a very important announcement to make. I woke up this morning, a brother had called me, you know, I'm, I, by the way, apology, many of you called me, I've not returned a single call except that brother, because I was sleeping, um, just meditating and, you no, know, just communing with God, reflecting on so many things and humbling myself before him, so no time to... Then eventually, 
I called Mr. Brown and he said to me, this man has been calling you. I said, yes, I saw his missed call. Anyway, the good news is that God gave us a baby boy. Is that all you can do? Uh -uh. Yes, keep clapping. Baby boy! What proof, what sign do you need again that God is with us? Not just Grace Chapel, but in this province. Brother Samuel Okolie and Sister Ada Okolie. Come on, let's shout hallelujah. Mother and child uh, are doing well. I think lately they've been hiding father. Father is also doing well. Praise the name of the Lord. God is faithful, God is faithful, God is faithful. Now, um, I want to also sing. You know, sometimes when you are celebrating, it's a very thin line. You don't know when you cross the line from taking the glory. All the glory must always be to the Lord. There are two songs, three of them, that's been very meaningful to me as a person. I've been singing them over and over and over. We sang them, I think, two days. Sang one of them, I think, two days ago. And I went to choir. In fact, the second song, this song I'm going to sing, the choir will help me. The second one, I'm going to invite one of the pastors to join me. And I'll tell you why later. I'm asking him to join me. Praise the name of the Lord. Please, please rise up on your feet. Don't bother about me. I know I don't know how to sing. If you listen to me, you'll be distracted. Just focus on God. He lifted above all other I want God. us to lay all our crowns before we him. We want to give him all the glory, and we all our achievements, and all the things we have seen oh, as an achievement.
let it be a, a life experience every one of us that will lead to our lifestyle of thanksgiving. Those who go out to give thanks will not crumble or complain. Hallelujah. In our path in life, God ordered people on our path to fulfill purpose. It is not angels with wings that God brings. It's people. And one of the things I celebrated God for this morning and I always do, that I did not miss God's purpose for my life. I almost did. Before we came to Canada, we knew all along we were going to go on foreign mission. Where? But we didn't know. Or God told us, but we didn't pay attention long before we even got married. But a call came to pastor in the U.S. And the document came, the visa came for the entire family, with the exception of the boy in the womb. <laughs> but he has visa already because the mother has. And I said to my wife, come on, it's time to plan and prepare, let's go. He said, she said, no, our reason will make you laugh, but we eventually pray. She said, that country where they carry guns and shoot people. We have to go to New Jersey, and we have every reason to go there. Our aunt was there, the pastor who called for us was there, but went to pray and God said no. So we kept the visa. Then a call came to go to South Africa. I actually went for a conference and I was asked to stay. And I thought, this is it. I went back home shortly before my last son was born and God said, that's a ship to Tashish. And we call it off. And I remember that day I was standing by my car in front of my house in Ogba, in Ikeja area. When that call came from Pastor Briodon Koka, I said, Bayo, I think God has a need for you here. That's another story. Don't let me go there. And that's how we ended here. And there are people God used apart from him. I remember before we came, Pastor Victor came to my house to pray with me. I remember our beloved daddy, Adebo Wale, who is gone to glory. That's the the daddy of, of the wife of our pastor in uh, Kamloops prayed with me and said, Pastor, Pastor, if those of us who know him, the way he spoke, it's time to go there, it's time to go there. Yes, we left. Because of fear of looking back, we gave out everything, including our car. So there won't be, I'm going back out. Let, going back to fish. The brother that was available. Please, Pastor, I know you are a singer. Come, come and join me. Come and sing this song with me. You know, Pastor Shego was the one who drove my family to the airport. See, when I see people around me, it used to be the, he's not a bishop, bishop bigger than me. Hallelujah. You know, the past the church we were once privileged to pastor, he used to be the choir leader, the minister in charge of the choir. The wife was actually the admin. But we are family. Here we are today. And I remember coming here, I can see Sister Sonia out there. I've sat here two days ago. And we didn't have where to move the house, the fellowship. She and her husband said, so move the fellowship to our house. She's here, twins now. God bless her with twins. Are the twins here? Sasonia. You didn't bring them. They are here. I must take a picture with them before you go. I've not seen them since they left the hospital. Hallelujah. What am I saying, people of God, for every purpose in life, for everything you want to do in life, there are people God will place upon your path that God will use. Don't, don't abuse relationship. You never can tell when that relationship will be needed. 
Don't bang the door. You may still need that door again. I always thank God for the lives around me. I never knew they would end up here. And there are many others all over the nations of the world. There are some now, thank you, who are watching. I just got a note from Sister Kweju. She said, I am watching. Thank God for your life. Amen. Let me talk to our young people represented by the choir. Please, don't bond preach. The principle of managing expectation is important. Everybody have expectations. When your expectation has not met, know how to manage it. Because that person or that individual may be God sent help for your next level. Email. Can we just thank God with that song? Hallelujah. When I think upon your goodness Fire. Hallelujah And your faithfulness each day Your faithfulness each day, oh God I'm convinced it's not because I am worthy To receive the kind of love that But I'm grateful for your mercy. Oh, I'm grateful for your grace, Lord. And I'm grateful for your grace. And because of how you poured out yourself. Oh, I have come to sing this song. Unto the Lord. Can you tell God, thank you for your grace and your mercy over your own life, over your own life. Now thank God, over your own life. Father, thank you, Lord. Amen. 
Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Please have your seat for a moment before I bring up Pastor Coca to, 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 to hand the service for us today. Hallelujah. Now, the um, the 20 hours of praise, the remaining four hours is tomorrow. Right? And um, please, there are quite a number of people who are not a member of this parish. If you are not going to be here, obviously, please go to your church, please. But just take a few minutes, right, in your devotion <laughs> or in your parish to thank God for the church, the redeemed Christian Church of God in British Columbia. Please remember what I said. For RCCG in British Columbia, please just take a few minutes. We will do the four hours. All right? Praise the name of the Lord. And the four hours tomorrow is different. It's different. We call it Taste of the Nations. It's an event that came by revelation. And trust me, that event is going somewhere. It's going somewhere. You will begin to see the manifestation in due parts. And, and, and I want to specially thank my son. Hallelujah. Thank you for, for being a son indeed. You know, for taking up that revelation and moving it to the next level gradually. Your trajectory is upward consistently in Jesus' name. And his siblings, my special wife, you know, thank God for fa good family. Hallelujah. I, I can't... I, I won't be here without them. There are too many stories that we can't tell publicly. Testimonies of God's mercy and goodness. Amen. So tomorrow is going to be glorious. And um, I, I must thank because... Um, this session of 24 hours is ending tonight. I must thank all the workers. Come on, let's celebrate the church workers. I must thank the people who walked. You know, those who came here before the work started, you will see the difference. The, the, I'm telling you, till 2 a.m., people are still here walking. It's giving their time and money and resources not being paid. People came from across the sea to come and walk here. And there's a lot of work still going on in the basement, the annex building for children. God will bless and honor all of you in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, we've appreciated and I will not stop appreciating people who labor together. See, Bible says Paul planted Apollo waters, but God gives the increase. It's all about God. But there are those who planted, there are Apollos. Praise the name of the Lord. There are Apollos who water the hair, who have moved on to a higher level, right? And there are still apostles who are still watering now, yeah. And those are the workers and ministers. Hallelujah. I want to specially recognize the ministers. Please uh, stand up wherever you are. Let, let, please, let's celebrate them. All the ministers in the house, please arise. All the ministers. It's, it's all about what God is doing in and through all of you. We we'll appreciate you. It's a new dawn. Get ready for work. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Sit down. In Jesus' name. And all the workers we celebrate this amazing choir. You are going somewhere. I'm telling you. We are going somewhere. Now we're going to sing this hymn. I told you I have two songs and I want him. Uh -huh. you will, you will, thank God you are getting better in singing hymns in this church now. You, because you don't have a choice. This choir, you, you are getting better. It's just that you modernize it sometimes, and it's okay. At least we are meeting halfway. All right? Uh, so let's rise up. Oh, for a thousand tongues. As I will start it, and then Pastor Coca will come. Hallelujah. Choir, you know it. <laughs> That's the version. The Praise God. glories of my Let's start. God and King, start. the triumphs of His reign. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord, 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 praise the everlasting King. Let's start from all times up. Watching online, please join us. Okay, we are singing to our father. Now, I think let's sing the modern one. Just sing the modern one. Sing it the way you started earlier. Uh -huh. Okay, you want to start? Let's do it. Mommy starts. Mommy starts. Oh, for a thousand. Going to five.
Halleluja. Halleluja. At first, I'd like to pray over the offering. And then, we all, as a people, we will bless our pastor and his entire family. Why? He has been a blessing. True or false? And then lastly, I will pray and close the meeting. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. I thank you, O oh God, for all that you have done for us. I thank you, O oh God, that we are able to give. Is it not written, it's better to give than to receive? Lord, you have given us your best. And Lord, for many of us, many of us, we are giving out of a need. But we thank you, O oh God, that Lord, we are able to give. And so, bless this gift. Breathe over it. Lord, let it cause an enlargement around us and for us in the name of Jesus. Let it be used to advance your purpose even in this sanctuary in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, that everyone that has sown this seed, you will cross, cause enlargement in their bounds in Jesus' name. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Please be seated before we pray for Pastor Bayo. Um, a living testimony concerning why the church anniversary is happening around this time of the year. When the Lord was leading us to come, there are so many stories and I don't want to go to stories. We want to pray for him. It was a road trip by Greyhound. We stole away from Kagri because we didn't want to bother anybody. We didn't want to beg. We didn't want to ask anybody for money. It's not that we had the money. That some of the brethren that I had, that's me, they are pastor. We've gone to Vancouver by bus. They were scandalized. They didn't allow me to return by bus. And I bought my return, treat, the return ticket. They had to buy a flight ticket for me to fly back to Calgary. But the good thing was that bus ride enabled us to talk, to plan. And one of our planning was, whatever we are going to do, let's start. He said it yesterday. We knew we were coming. We had a phone number. And there's another story about the phone number. I can't be talking about it here today. But while we were doing all of that, we agreed Maybe he didn't remember. He's a good historian. We agreed that it would be better to start around Easter. Nobody, I didn't remember his birthday. It was not an issue. If you go and check, Easter 2004, that's when Grace Chapel started. And Easter is about resurrection. Hallelujah. That's why in Grace Chapel, it's all about life. I say it's all about life. It's all about life. And one of the beautiful testimonies I heard tonight is the life of a man, even still living, that is pointing people to this land, Vancouver. And I know that it's not just pointing people to a location, is pointing people to Christ and it will lead people to heaven. So join me as I call on the Ade Duran family. Hallelujah. I know you love your guitar than what I'm doing. But this time around, you have to come. Hallelujah. Demilade, Ife, wherever you are, please join daddy and mommy. And please, church, I want us to rise. Stretch forth your hand and bless them. 
Thank God for them. Pray, it shall be well with them. The heavens over them shall remain perpetually open. The Lord, whatever they bless on earth, shall remain blessed. And whatever they cost on earth shall remain a cost. Pray that whatsoever they allow, Lord God will sanction it. I know that while you are praying for them, you are praying for yourself. I want you to bless them that God will grant increase unto their labor. They will remain a blessing. No evil shall befall them. All the days of their life it shall be joy. They have set out this time in praise of Jehovah, not even celebrating vanity. Let's pray that God, it will continue to increase, that their land, it will enjoy increase. The Lord will water their land in the name of Jesus. The seed that God has given unto them, they and these children shall be for signs and for wonders in the land of the living. God will continually honor them in the name of Jesus. Lord, perfect all that concerns them. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And so, God of heaven, I want to thank you. First, we thank you for the provision of this building. It's been a journey. But Lord, you have decided it's time to establish the work in Vancouver. And Lord, this has come as a gift from you. It is written, the blessing of the Lord make it rich, adding no sorrow. Over this fa facility, it will make rich. Everyone worshiping here shall prosper. You will increase them on all sides. All that will be needed to make this what you want it to be, Lord, you will provide. Lord, even by the reason of 20 hours of praise and worship, doors of blessing will open. In the name of Jesus, you will cause everyone to dwell under open heavens. The heavens over them shall not be closed. The ground under their feet, it will not be brass. In the name of Jesus, as they go, you will go ahead of them. You will make a way for them. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, you have begun a new thing. Even, oh God, with the regional headquarters. And Lord, we are praying in the lives of individuals. You will begin a new thing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, O oh God, for the sign you have given unto us in this season. The baby boy that was brought forth. Lord, I am praying, O oh God, once again, physical wound shall be opened. Womb of greatness shall be opened. In the name of Jesus, every scheme of hell, it will not succeed. Over every man, every woman, the light will shine. In the name of Jesus, and Lord, I'm praying for all our singles. They will not take the wrong turn. You will establish them. You will plant their feet in righteousness. In the name of Jesus, thank you, O God, for your son and the testimony. Testimony of New Jersey testimony of South Africa. Lord, they look so promising, but it was not your will. Lord, we want to thank you that even for these singles, I am praying, every alternative plant from hell, it shall not succeed in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy is planning and dangling before them, Lord, it will not succeed in the name of Jesus. The will of God, it will be done in your life. The name of God will be glorified in your life. It shall be well with you. Lord, I pray for the married. Continue to increase them. They and the children you have given unto them shall be for signs and for wonders. In Grace Chapel, it will be from one level of grace to the next level of grace. 
it will be from glory unto glory you will advance us you will advance us you will advance us no man will go on their own journey you will lead us make a way for us thank you almighty father in jesus mighty name we pray happy birthday Happy birthday. Nobody on them. Happy blow, blow, birthday. blow, blow, blow. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. To happy birthday. Happy birthday. To you. Happy birthday. Fellowship, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, forever and ever, Amen. I shall leave. Praise the Lord. Please, one important announcement. Tomorrow's service, there's no Sunday school tomorrow here because of the taste of the nation. The service begins at 10, all right? And then there's going to be a workers' meeting uh, that will start at 9.15, please. 9.15. And remember, that's our last workers' meeting before we start the multiple services. Two services are from next week Sunday. So tomorrow's service is important for us to tidy up a few things. God bless you all. In Jesus' name, you are blessed beyond measure. Many battles, many struggles, God, but has been there for me, fighting for me, waiting for me. He has never lost a fight. Many battles, many struggles, for God.